Benjamin. Are y'all ready to rock and roll tonight? I said, my name is Jimmy. What's out there, baby? Y'all ready to rock and roll tonight? Have you experienced like this? very sick puppy. <laughs> I travel all over the world. I got my, my, my first driver's license I ever got was in uh, Munich, Germany. Wild. I tried to walk across the street to the driver's license bureau. I stopped. <laughs> I took the test, man. I got in there. reason, I am staying in a hotel that's next door to this nightclub here in Montreal called Metropolis. <laughs> My bathroom is a rave party. <laughs> it's weird, man. You can hear that next door, man. You get in there. Well, 
ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another installment of the Frankie Sausage Show right here on Pioneer 90.1. And uh, this today's guest on my show is none other than the legendary funny man. Uh, if you remember him from uh, the Police Academy movies or Spaceballs, I give you Michael Winslow. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. And for those of you Pokemon fans... <laughs> Sorry, just had to pull out the little pokeball. Like, What's going on? <laughs> not much, man. I mean, not not much at all. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a very it's a thrill to have you on the show. I never thought I'd ever see the day that I'd ever be talking to you. You know. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. And uh, I appreciate you for for letting me interview you. I mean, this this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I've always I've always loved your blend of comedy. I, uh, I mean, it's so different. And I was even thinking last, or saying last night uh, after I called you and. You know how I like most comedians out there that uh, just when when they are up on the stage and whatnot, they they are just like most of the time just talking to people. Well, you 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 make it more interactive. You make it more like it's uh, you know like like a cartoon show or something like that, or just you know just you make it fun. How how did you ever get started with uh, uh, doing voices and whatnot? Well, having a strange sense of humor seems to help. <laughs> it seems to help a lot. Um, well, you know, working on Gremlins, I, I, I got a pretty clear picture of what was funny to some people and scary to others, and, and I just, just just sort of learned from there. You know, we, we know you know we learn by doing, uh, but for me, it's, it's it's just been it's just been the, the conglomerate of everything together. It's the body of work, I guess. I learned everything a little at a time. I mean, we're all over the world, you know, doing this. I mean, uh, I could be in Finland, you know, in the next couple of weeks. You know, I could be in Finland and, and the same sound. And different things. That everyone, there seems to be no language barrier. Oh yeah. So I could be in, I could be in, I could be in Japan, <laughs> and I'd still be able to communicate somehow. Oh, that's that's amazing. That's, you know, uh, were you ever in, inspired by anybody? <laughs> were there any other people that did noises like like you did, or, or like that inspired you to do this, or just? Well, everybody inspires me. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, how, I don't know how to begin. <laughs> uh, uh, to me, to me, you know, humor is. It, it, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, I, I, I watch everything. I mean, a little bit of everything. You know, I don't. Doesn't matter where I am on, on this planet. You know, there, there, there is definitely comedy there, and there's definitely an, an, an interacting line for everyone that we all can relate to. Doesn't matter where you are. I mean, there's always something. Oh yeah, and uh, now, uh, now you've been uh, travel all over the world doing your stand up, going back to your roots and whatnot. Uh, now you. Uh, now, I, I talked to a friend of mine before we, we uh, started this interview named Mike Massey, and he remembers meeting you when you, you did a show in Raleigh, North Carolina, a long time ago, or... Yeah. Yeah, you, you, probably, don't, you probably don't remember the guy, but uh, he's, a, he's a fellow comedian as well, and a fellow actor, and he does his own show called Mikey's Adventures, and uh, uh, he uh, just told me that he, he's met you before, and... Uh, how much of a nice guy you are, and whatnot, and how you're willing to to go the extra mile for some things or whatever, and and uh, I just figured I'd pass that along. <laughs> oh, I thank you for that. Tell him I said I appreciate it and give my give my best regards. Oh, I definitely will. Uh, now, uh, with the in, in your start, uh, when you started doing the uh, acting and whatnot, uh, you were in all seven Police Academy movies. And yes. uh, and I understand that you uh, there's a, an eighth one getting made or something or. They're trying their best to get uh, to get number eight put together, and that's um, the executive producer of the uh, academies. He's, he's trying to you know get something put together you know so that we can maybe make uh, the next two. And I really wish him the best of luck with it because you, you know how you know film is not easy. I mean, yeah. most people that start making a film, if you look at the, the overall picture, only three or four percent of of all films end up getting finished, let alone be seen. Oh yeah, a lot of people start out, but but ninety. <laughs> Ninety-six percent of them don't even don't even get finished. Well, or I, even or even even get seen. So it just depends. Are, are they now? Are they trying to like uh, bring in the old cast? Like I know you're 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 credited to be be a part of it, but are they trying to bring back the old cast at all? Or uh, I wish I knew. Oh, so you don't really have no idea. You just know that you're kind of credited for playing your original role. Yeah, I, I have no. Um, unfortunately, you know, you know, when you do with studios and everything else, you know, they have their own. They have their own what you call hierarchy as to how they as to how they do things. And and, and if you're making a film over in Europe or, or like a German film or yeah. an Italian film, it's a different hierarchy as well. Uh, they they shoot things completely different than, than they do here. 
So basically, so basically, no story has begun. No, no people who have been besides yourself be enrolled. It's just a, a work in progress right now, kind of. I'm sure. I'm sure there's been a couple of. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure several scripts have been written, but you know, it, it just depends on on what's accepted. Okay. Because you know, the exec has to has to accept it, and the studio has to. Accept, you know, it's almost like a government. Yeah. In many ways, there's a you know there's a lot of a lot of yeses and a lot of noes and a lot of a lot of issues that have to be worked out. And